No one was really testing the myth of should you be jamming your paintbrush through a five gallon bucket lid uh, to get the paint out rather than pour it into a little container because you're lazy. So I guess I'll step up to the plate and test it. Uh, myth busted. It's cool that you can drag paint along the ceiling and drip it at the same time as painting the wall. If that was your goal, then yeah, this works great. If your goal was to make it look like a professional did it, um, uh, it still needs some work. It, and by work, I mean now you need to touch up the ceiling. So you'll paint that white and then you have to paint the wall white again because you were dragging on the wall. But enough time and enough coats of paint, you'll get there. Welcome to another room in our home. They call it like a three season room. If you wanted to be comfortable, you might call it like a two season room because it gets really cold and really hot in the winter. Now, we got a long term plan of some fresh windows because. Uh, first thing we need to do though is stop making this room look awful. So I put down some flooring. So you can obviously see. Uh, we ran into a snag. My mathematical equations added up to not what I ordered at all, which is fine. There's nothing less embarrassing than calling the flooring company that you just ordered something from two weeks ago and saying, hey, can I get one more box? And then they said, did everything go all right? And I go, yeah, no problems here, big guy. I can only imagine the story of when we were walking through the home and thinking, oh, they're going to be repainting some things. And we walked the home right before we purchased it and said they just taped everything and didn't finish it. It sort of peels off, but it usually just tears. So you know what? We're gonna put that right back. Don't wanna mess up the architecture. First, I assumed an animal got trapped in here. It was probably also addicted to nicotine. Maybe it actually died in here from cigarettes. I don't know. All I do know is that if it tried to eat through this window, it probably died of lead poisoning. So the cigarettes were probably like an after effect or maybe a beginning effect. Maybe it was cigarettes and lead that led to this animal's downfall. This really sums up how I feel about this house too, buddy. I kind of want to chew on this window to get out of here, but I don't want to die from lead poisoning. Let's go chew on something else. And like magic, that fan is installed. This room kind of works like a convection oven with like one of those fans in it where it blows the air around and cooks your food fast. Except I'm the turkey, that's the fan, and this thing I'm working in is the oven that's trying to make my life unreasonable. It's weird to have to Gatorade up in your own home, but uh, I need the electrolytes. You better believe it, the floor is in. And to top it all off by not finishing it yet, we ran to Home Depot. We decided just to go and replace the baseboard trim. So we gotta actually nail it to the wall and cock all those seams and hit it with some paint. But that looks so much better that I might just call it today. You know, just go lay down. Go get some Taco Bell, you know? What, what would I be doing in my life if I don't go get some T-Bell three quarters of the way through a project? and just give up after the Taco Bell because I need to lay down. Honestly, I don't know which is gonna look worse. Me trying to freehand this or what we're doing with the tape right now. Either way, it's not looking good for this room. Oh, okay, that's gonna have a crease in it. That's fine. Ow. As you run your hand over it, your fingers start to burn. That's how you know you're making a good edge. All right, now I'm just gonna do the rest of the room. This is gonna be fun. far as you can, getting way too much paint and slathering it on a wall. All the dirt on top of the window frame can mix with all this fresh paint. This should be the most satisfying thing I've done all year. Okay. Okay, there we go, back in action. 
this table right here has been saran wrapped and covered with my garbage that I'm not finishing since we moved into this home. My server rack IT corner over here also needs a little bit of work. We'll deal with that another day. We also got some more touch up paint to do because of all the crazy lines that that paint brought. Don't, you know what? The room's looking great. And if you like this room, you should totally subscribe. If you hate this room, uh, stay tuned. There'll probably be other nonsense around here that you might like. I don't know. We're just kind of winging it, really. The last thing to do here is really just to lull you to sleep with uh, some nice sweeping shots of this room set to, like, I don't know, like, hardcore rap music? That sounds fine. here for painting the ceiling. One could argue if I got more paint on the walls than I did on the ceiling. I'd argue that. Oh, there's some more of that white paint. Some more of that white paint. There's 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 some more of that white paint. Alright, I think we got the yeah paint the white paint situations. Now about um, how? What? What? There was a club for getting things painted twice for no reason. I'd be in it. <laughs> 